Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we shall learn about mensuration, an important concept in mathematics, which is given in the syllabus of GPSTR exam 2022 also. Before moving to the video, if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get the notifications of all the videos we upload here related to TET exam central to ET and also for GPSTR exam mainly of mathematics and science concepts on moving to the topic mensuration in mensuration we deal with measurements of length area volume surface area etc of both plane figures and closed uh, of course um, solid figures so what are plane closed figures Plane closed figure in geometry are bounded by lines either it could be of straight line or curved line in a plane is called plane closed figure. In case of solid figures we will see along with the two dimensions of length breadth we will check out about the volume also ok we will learn about solid figures later first we will see about plane figure and in a plane figure region it means the interior of the figure along with its boundary so this interior this is the region of the plane figure usually we represent plane figure with length and breadth okay of two dimensions next here we'll mainly focus on the perimeter of few plane figures that is perimeter of rectangle square a triangle and for circle of course how the perimeter we calculate since we are focusing on this examination point of view we will not go much deep into that we will cover up the important points related to the exam later in the classes in detail explanation we will take but for the sake of exam we will cover up the important points okay so in case of perimeter to calculate the perimeter of a triangle if it is let us consider this triangle LMN and the sides are given as 2 cm, 4 cm and 3 cm. To calculate the perimeter we need to add up all the sides, sum of the sides given. So LM plus MN plus NL gives us the perimeter of the triangle. And usually we measure the triangle in centimeter it will be mentioned. The unit of perimeter is as that of the length only that is meter, yes, the unit of length is meter. but in the cal calculations in the sums in this chapter it will be of centimeter if it is in centimeter no problem we can express the answer in centimeter only ok if it is for multiple choice questions check for the answer if it is in centimeter you substitute for the centimeter if it is in meter you convert that centimeter into meter and then substitute later we will be learning about that well, so when you multiply length into breadth it is nothing but length is equal to breadth so it will be of so 4 into side okay that is perimeter of the all the four sides we multiply just four sides 4 into sides instead of adding up all the four sides we will just multiply with 4 that is it 4 into side then for perimeter of an equilateral triangle instead of if it is an equilateral triangle instead of just adding up three sides just 3 into one side you multiply you will get perimeter of a equilateral triangle if it is of triangle like this example of different measurements you have to add the all the three sides to get the perimeter for any regular plane figures to calculate the um, perimeter if it is of five sides okay if it is regular plane figure all the five sides are equal then just multiply with n if it is five five into the side if it is six six into the side multiply if it is a equal sides in all the sides ok clear about perimeter it's easy concept only on moving to the area area is the the surface enclosed within this boundary so this full surface is called as area of that particular geometrical figure I'm going directly to the formula and to the sums the formula to calculate area of a rectangle a is equal to 
length into breadth just check for the length and the breadth if it is directly given multiply length into breadth that is the formula to calculate area of the rectangle if it is a square you can calculate area is equal to side square okay length will be equal to breadth so it is nothing but side side into side side square just multiply if it is a square square means all the four sides will be equal right therefore to calculate the area of a square just multiply the uh, square the sides if you want side length of the each side if area is given you can take side is equal to square root of area square root of area gives us each side of a square okay if it is in case of a circle the circumference of the circle is nothing but the perimeter of that plane figure the formula to calculate circumference of the circle c is equal to 2 pi r where pi value is 22 by 7 and you know in a circle from center if you draw a line to touch the circumference this is the radius radius will be half of the diameter if you draw a straight line like this 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 is diameter diameter is equal to twice of the radius and radius is equal to diameter divided by 2 that is for circumference 2 pi r is for circumference 2 pi r just a plane you just remember in this way okay it's a plane figure for the circle so plane no square nothing just 2 pi r if it is for area pi r square is the formula to calculate area of the circle suppose if this area to be calculated multiply pi into r square where r square will be the given radius if it is in terms of diameter is given you divide that diameter by 2 then you will get radius substitute for this equation you will get the answer for area of a circle suppose if the in the plane figure the diagonal has to be calculated means the formula for diagonal of a rectangle here so this diagram abcd is a rectangle and length is l breadth is b then the formula to calculate the diagonal this is the diagonal ac is the diagonal and bd is also another diagonal if you want to calculate this ac is the diagonal multiply with length into square that is formula is square root of length square plus better breadth square square root of l square plus b square for diagonal and for diagonal of a square the formula is diagonal of a square formula is side into square root of 2 okay side into square root of 2 because in a square all the sides will be equal so you can just take out the square side into square root of 2 you can if the side length is given as 10 cm 10 cm into square root of 2 value you multiply you will get the answer for diagonal of a square to calculate the area of a triangle in case of an area of a triangle we know the formula half into base into height if abc is a triangle the sides are ab is given as a bc is b and ac is given as c sides and this base bc is the base so base into height a if you take this consider this as d so ad will be the height if it is directly given you can calculate the area of the triangle in case of to find the area of a triangle if only the length of the measurement of sides are given only sides the height is not given okay so how to calculate of different heights first we need to calculate the semi perimeter semi perimeter will be the perimeter divided by 2 that gives half of the perimeter that is taken by a symbol s s is equal to a plus b plus c divided by 2 that is semi perimeter then we have a formula to calculate area of a triangle a is equal to square root of s of s minus a into s minus b into s minus c s only once here s of s minus a s minus b into s minus c where s is semi perimeter first you will add up all this you will get the semi perimeter value dividing by 2 then substitute the value s you know from here and a will be first value then b will be second value c will be third value then easily you can calculate if it is in case of an equilateral triangle to calculate the area 
we can use this formula equal area is equal to square root of 3 divided by 4 into side whole square if it is of normal triangle with different heights uh, different base different sides you can use this formula half into base into height if it is an equilateral triangle you can directly use the formula any one side you can consider square root of 3 by 4 into side square clear let's solve few sums related to perimeter and area of the given plane figures the area of a square field is 1600 meter square find its perimeter so what are given just a given area of a square of a field area is given a is equal to 1600 meter square and we have to find the perimeter to find the perimeter we have to know the each side of a square right for a square then only you can multiply with 4 you can find out hence substitute for the formula we know area is equal to side square then area value is 1600 meter square side square is side whole square we don't know therefore each side will be equal to square root of this value square root of 1600 meter square we have to write meter square inside the bracket inside the square root then only you can cancel this square root and square root for the unit also square root of 1600 is 40 40 and here only m remains 40 meter is for each side length of the each side then the perimeter of a square field will be equal to 4 into each side so 4 into each side gives us 4 into 40 is 160 meter okay if it is in case of a descriptive type you can write all this and explain if not directly when you see this we know the formula for each side each side will be equal to square root of this two take the square root of this this two that gives us 40 multiply with 4 there only you will get this answer then next one what will happen to the area of a rectangle if its length and breadth both are doubled okay we know the formula for calculating area of the uh, rectangle that is area is equal to length into breadth if length is double that means 2l l becomes 2l breadth is b doubling that breadth is 2b so substitute for the formula for new area new area will be equal to 2l into 2b so 2 twos are 4 l into b so actually length into breadth was the formula here but four times it is increased therefore the area of the given rectangle increases four times of the original area like this also the question might be asked in the exams we shall move to another sum a room is six meter long and four meter wide how many rectangular tiles will be required to cover the floor of the room if each tile is 25 centimeter long and 20 centimeter wide there was a question a similar type in the model question paper of 2022 GPSTR exam so it's easy only to cover again I'm repeating if it is for descriptive type write all this and explain otherwise directly you calculate okay um, here when you see this rectangle then it means it's understood you have to have an imagination of the rectangle in your mind and there are tiles with some measurement is also given the length of this dimension of this rectangle is given that is 6 meter into 4 meter if this is 6 this will be 4 okay so length into breadth will be is equal to 4 meter into 4 meter but you check out for next unit this is in centimeter this is also in centimeter hence either you can convert both into meter and find for the final answer in meter or both could be in centimeter and find the final answer in centimeter it's better to convert this into centimeter 6 meter is equal to 600 centimeter multiply with 100 isn't it 100 centimeter is equal to 1 meter hence you can convert this 6 meter is equal to 600 centimeter 4 meter is equal to 400 centimeter then multiply this to uh, 6 fours are 24 and 1 2 3 4 0 1 2 3 4 0 add up centimeter into centimeter centimeter square so this is the area of the tiles to be covered so area of the room now you got okay now next dimension is each rectangular tiles will be have having dimension 25 into 20 centimeters so find that area multiply this to 25 into 20 gives us 500 centimeters square now how many tiles you require if you take an area to be covered by the tiles as a 
and area of each rectangular tile that is as a dash a, da a by a dash gives us the answer therefore this value substitute here and divide by 500 on cancelling 2 zeros 2 zeros 5 ones are again 5 fours are again 5 eights are 40 so 480 tiles we require to cover the floor of the room okay so in this case just imagine about the room and each tile find the area of the room and area of each tile divide 1 by 2 the larger number divided by the smaller number will give the area of each tile or uh, number of required tiles okay next on moving to the circles related to sums that is the circumference of a circular field is for 40 meter find its radius immediately when you hear about circumference plane you just remember plane means there is no square there so 2 pi r okay 2 pi r is the circumference and here in the sum they have given circumference of the circle so 440 meter substitute that here don't worry about um, the unit whatever it is given because only two unknown terms here either circumference or radius if this is given and this you have to find out okay substitute for that 440 is equal to 2 pi r either you can substitute the value pi here only as directly 3.14 or in this case of solving better you don't convert it to 3.14 and write decimal it will be difficult for multiplication you can divide easily so keep as it is we want the value of r so shift this to the denominator 440 divided by 2 into 2 pi so 2 into 2 pi when this is in fraction when you take this to the numerator it becomes reverse of that 22 by 7 becomes 7 by 22 therefore where are the possible ways you can calculate 2 ones are 2 two twenties are again 2 here like this 220 you have divided by 22 22 ones are 22 tens are your 10 remains 10 into 7 is 70 okay so check for the easy you no need to multiply all this and waste your time again divide wherever the possible simplifications you can make you can make the simplifications cleared moving to the next one the ratio between the areas of two circle is 9 is to 25 here they have given two circles one ratio is 2 oh sorry 9 the other ratio is 25 find the ratio between the radii okay let us consider the radius of first circle is r1 radius of second circle is r2 radii is the plural of radius what is the formula to calculate area of the circle area means something deal with the square you have to remember pi r square okay for the first circle pi r1 square second circle pi r2 square and they are in the ratio 9 is to 25 if it is in the ratio you can take in the denominator we can write this pi r square pi r1 square is to pi r2 square as like this in the ratio pi r1 square by pi r2 square is equal to 9 by 25 pi pi cancels and therefore we get this r1 square by r2 square you can express this numbers in the square form hence for the easy simplification 9 can be written as 3 square 5 can be written as 5 square all the squares you cancel only you will get r1 by r2 is equal to 3 by 5 hence they are in the ratio 3 is to 5 okay so um, i think we have covered almost about few small little here and there important points so practice for more sums we can only guide you here how to solve and we can give an easy method too but you need a lot of practice for that find out you can just try it with a constant effort you can solve so we will continue about the mensuration part in the next class we learn about solid figures in the next video okay thank you for watching if you like this video don't forget to give a thumbs up thank you